Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing our Gemini reading for our, our Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for what you guys should be prepared for. Alright, right now. Let's go ahead and get into it. Should my Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising Signs be prepared for? my Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs be prepared for. What should my Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs be prepared for? Alright, before we get into the reading, I want to let you guys know all disclaimers will now just be in the description box. So you guys do have the world in reverse. The Empress. You have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And you have the Five of Cups. All right. Back of deck energy is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay. Now, you guys, with the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse, this energy is somebody who feels like some things are at a standstill in their life. Some things are not moving forward. You know, there may, may have been some plans that you wanted to make or wanted to create um, with other people. There may have been some things that you have been thinking about, some new projects that you may have been thinking about that you wanted to start. Um, and, you know, since it's new and it's fresh, a lot of you guys may be feeling like it's not moving forward like it's supposed to. It's not um, kicking off like I was supposed to. For an example, you know, um, a lot of you guys may be expecting the plant to grow within the first two or three days or within the first week. A lot of you guys may have launched a business and you may be thinking that it's supposed to, you know, launch within a certain amount of time. Um, well, not in a certain amount of time, but you may be feeling like you should be profiting from the business like right now, or people should be buying and shopping with you right now. Um, for some of you guys, that's what it is. And you know, whatever it is that you started new, Spirit is telling you that it's okay for things to be, you know, at a standstill. It's okay for things to not, you know, move forward as fastly as you think they are supposed to move you know this energy is also like about having closure with other people communicating with other people um letting people know what it is that you are wanting to do what it is that they're wanting to do or what they can help you with you know this energy is also about communication also the will of fortune is you know Jupiter energy Sagittarius energy so um you know some type of karma may be coming up now you guys do have the world in reverse now with the world card being in reverse and then you guys have the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse this is major arcana cards these are major keys to whatever you may have going on in your life so you guys should you know, pay attention to those things. Right now, it's time to focus on, you know, your beauty and your health. 
because with the world being in reverse you may be feeling like oh everything is limited for you things are not moving forward or going your way um, and with the Empress card, the Empress is letting you know, hey, you know, you can beautify your life. Or for a lot of you guys, you may be finding out you're pregnant, um, you're having a child, and, you know, it may be very unexpected for you. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune in reverse could very be very well be some un unexpected things may be coming into your life and it could be very well pregnancy um a lot of you guys may be getting custody of a child or taking care of a child that you know for some time or this could just very well be you finally taking over your health taking over your beauty taking over some things that you need to do and get done because this is what you love. This is what you care about. I also feel like the Empress is letting you know to be prepared to nurture your dreams, nurture your goals, because although the things may not be happening as quickly or as fast as you're wanting them to happen in your life, just know that it is a work in progress. Just know that you're learning the ins and outs of whatever it is that you're trying to do that's new for you. All right. Now with the page of pentacles being in the reverse, you know, this is somebody who may be feeling unhappy about their finances or, you know, some things may not be going their way. Also with the nine, not nine of pentacles, oh my goodness, with the page of pentacles, you know, this energy could be somebody who is, you know, disappointed and some things going on in their life with their finances or it could be like with their property their living situation you know and you guys have the five of cups being here and with the five of cups you guys i feel like a lot of you guys you know may be feeling sad about some things going on you know in your life or thinking about some things that may have happened in your past so you know if someone has passed away in your past you know during this time that you're watching this video, this person may re-come back in your mind for, you know, you to nurture that energy or for you to own that energy and finally let go of some things that you may be holding in, you know, finally having that time to cry. So Gemini, I feel like um, a major theme that you guys should be preparing yourself for is that things are not going to always move as quickly as you think they should but in due time it will get there in due time use this time to nurture promote and you know not being so shy when it comes to promoting yourself in your business which a lot of you guys are not you know shy you know what i'm saying so we're going to get into the numerology card so we can see what you guys should mainly be focusing on. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the first card to come out is self-discipline. For a lot of you guys, this self-discipline is letting you know that it's time for you to discipline yourself when it comes to things that you want in your life. Focus on your spirituality. And number eight, manifestation. Okay. Okay. And that's what I believe, you know, Gemini, manifestations don't work unless you work. If you don't put in the work, it's just not going to miraculous, miraculously happen for you every single time. For some people it does, but that's just what it seems like for some people, you know, for some people, they're doing all this work in the background that we don't see, um, that they're using to push towards their goals, that they're using to be successful. And we don't know what it is that they do to achieve their goals. You know what I'm saying? All we know is that, oh, they made it, you know? Not everyone is always going to tell their trials and tribulations, their obstacles that they go through in order for them to make five-figure um, months in their business or six-figure months in their business, you know, 
people don't really tell that as much. We just see what they post on social media. And I feel like for some of you guys, Gemini, that energy could be rubbing off on you, making you feel like, dang, well, you know, I should be able to do it like them. But you guys um, are going through the process. And I feel like with this Empress energy nurturing, you know, the energy of whatever it is new that you're starting, regardless if you guys are going to school, regardless if you guys are starting a business, whatever it is new, focus on that. Make sure you're aligning your spirituality with it and manifesting it. You know, writing down some, you know, starting with small goals and checking those off as you reach those milestones and you know showing a little self-discipline along the way all right so what we're going to do is get into the black moon astrology cards now these cards are really deep i have the book right here and i'm going to be reading um some of well all three of the cards that come out so what messages do my gemini's Sun, moon, and rising signs need to hear with these black moon astrology cards. Ooh. Okay, the first one to come out is water element sensing. Okay. Got some water energy in here. Can I get two more cards, Spirit, for my Gemini's? Wow. Okay. The two is right here. Wow, so we got Mercury, Mind, Energy, and then we have Sagittarius, I see. Okay, okay then, let's do this. All right, and it's crazy because Sagittarius energy is the complete opposite of you guys. So starting out with number 40, which is the water element, okay? All right, so... Your intellect may be confused, but your emotions will never lie to you. Let matters flow. In astrology, the element of water represents our emotions and our talents of the imagination. Water characterizes the realm of vision, taking us into the quintessential depths of feeling where intuition is more appropriate than acquired wisdom and knowledge. We get carried away on water. We have feelings of floating or being adrift over water. When coming, when looking at the shimmering surfaces of water, we cannot see to the bottom, but we know and sense what is there. Deep things, too obtuse and transitory to explain. Fathoms of mood and insight Water is the element of the signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The planets of water are the moon, Pluto, and Neptune. When the water element card represents itself in a spread, you can trust what you feel as the best course to follow. What you are sensing right now may not be based on any logic. It's just that what you are sensing is correct. Right now, it's best to go with the flow and depending upon the cards surrounding it to trust that moment, that movement, although these changes may seem gentle and gradual. And that's so beautiful, um, Gemini's, because that's basically what I was saying. Trust the process. You know, you may be feeling like people are getting it easier than you and you may be correct, but with that energy is telling you to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Honor your feelings that you have about this situation, this new thing that you are starting, but keep your head up and continue to go forward, continue to go far, all right? The next card we have is number three, which is Mercury, your mind. If you want to tell people the truth, make them laugh, otherwise they'll kill you. And you know what? I'm a rising Gemini and I do the same thing. When I don't want to be rude to somebody, I'll make them laugh before I kind of, you know, insult them. <laughs> so we have Mercury, the planet of intelligence and talking, is the closest planet to the sun, also making it the fastest planet to move through the zodiac. The Mercury card suggests you must put effort behind your talk. 
The god Mercury is the Roman counterpart of the Greek god Hermes. The messenger with wings at his heels and on his hat, connected to everything associated with the mind, quick wit, brevity, mental flights, trickery, inspiration, and also movement, as in moving your head and also transits. Mercury gives poetry to the imagination, since the gods Mercury and Hermes are related to the Egyptian god Thoth, god of writing, patron of scribes, and those who work as divine mediators and interpreters. The god Mercury and his counterparts also have very much to do with magic and medicine. When it comes to the body, Mercury rules the eyes, the brain, the nerves, as well as the fingers and toes. In ancient Greece, Hermes was the god of roads and transportation and was the son of Apollo, the sun god. This makes sense because Mercury being the closest planet to the sun. Mercury is also a comedian and can be a bit of a trickster. Just when the energy seems to be flowing one way, Mercury changes the direction. Might we add, Mercury is spontaneous and insanely flexible. And you know, Mercury rules Gemini, you know? Gemini is a mutable sign. Being a Gemini, that energy, you are able to adapt with whatever life throws at you. So Spirit is telling you right now to go ahead and be flexible. Start flexing your flexibility because that is what's going to prepare you for more in the future when it comes to your business, when it comes to your schooling, when it comes to any form of education or career that you're diving deep into. Being flexible is going to let you know the ins and outs of what you're getting yourself into. All right. So now we have your complete opposite sign coming in the building to support you, which is number 21 Sagittarius. Sagittarius rules I see. All right. Almost there. So we have luck is not chance. It's toil. Fortune's expensive smile is earned and that's beautiful because I know a lot of you guys may be feeling like other people are more lucky than what you are um, when they get things very quickly. But Spirit is saying you are just about ready to hit your mark. The sign of Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter and it is a mutable, easygoing fire sign. You guys are mutable signs too. The ancient symbol for Sagittarius is a half man, half horse, known as the centaur, a creature trained in the art of archery who always manages to hit his target no matter how far he roams. Sagittarians are honest, candid, and not afraid to speak the truth. Since this freedom-loving fire sign is not offended by the truth, he is often surprised when others take offense to his words. Sagittarians are drawn to religious ideas, even though sometimes they deny it. They will go through periods of not being religious at all and claim not to believe in anything, even bucking against authority. Religion and philosophy are concepts that remain fascinated by, though they will argue for hours about religion, and usually at some point in life they return to some type of faith, but such a faith always remains an intellectual pursuit. Sagittarians are highly idealistic, creative, outdoorsy, and have a great sense of play and fun. They are also extremely restless and would prefer not to stay in the same spot. Instead, they would rather roam. Sagittarians dislike routine, so are encumbered by the usual nine to five job. They may end up as magicians, fire eaters, tattoo artists, entertainers, publishers, literary agents, clergy, tutors, bookstore owners, and whatever does not require any set schedule. You know what? It's crazy. Um, all the Sagittarius that I know, I know that is saying something about artsy, but um, this is like the Empress energy for me. I feel like Sagittarius do 
um, relate to this Empress energy a lot and this is the energy that my Gemini's are needing to embody right now that creative energy a lot of my um, Sagittarius are really great at doing makeup really great at doing hair styling dressing nice so that's the energy that I'm seeing and that's what I'm seeing for you guys so be prepared for this energy when it comes about. Be prepared for these wrenches that are going to be tossed towards you because you're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to show these people that may be quote unquote watching you and they're saying they're not watching you that you may bend but you will not break. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Geminis. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one.